Thank you for tuning in to Get Financial Strength. Now I am Daryl Rosen. I have something interesting for you today. We're going to call this Retirement Stories, where I'm going to walk through a retirement plan for a couple. They're actual, but with fictitious names, and they want to retire at 58, which is actually pretty early. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to call this Retirement Stories. We're going to go through the methodology of what we should look at. So this is kind of a top line analysis. Then we're going to discuss their current situation, which is right on the other side of this whiteboard. And then I'm going to do an analysis. I'm going to do a screen share of the money guide software I use to help me determine whether uh, to help me plan for people's retirements. So the securement philosophy is, is something that I've created. It's very simple. I really try to simplify things. Three things, create income, protect the next egg, reduce taxes. Let me say that again, create income, protect the nest egg, and reduce taxes. So I want to keep this as simple as possible. If you take anything away, take the understanding that we really, we want to keep it simple. Retirement is complicated. It doesn't mean the way we look at it has to be. Okay. So this is Jimmy and Jane Klein. They are the guinea pigs for this analysis. They're both 58 years of age. They have assets of $580,000. Some is in qualified, some is in non-qualified. When I say non-qualified, I mean it's a, it's in a, um, like a regular brokerage account where they get a 1099 at the end of the year. Qualified means we haven't paid tax on it yet, so that has to be built into the analysis. Their social security is 25K a year at age 67. That's considered full retirement age for them. They have annuity income of 28.8, which will uh, start coming to them on a monthly basis in 2024. This is a yearly number. And we're going to have them spend about 66K a year after tax. So that's really important. It has to be after tax. And we're going to we're gonna look at the different scenarios. Can they retire now? And what little tweaks will help them uh, make their plan go a little longer? Okay, so here we are in a program called Money Guide. This is what I use to help people plan for retirement. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at three things here. We're going to look at a comfort analysis or a confidence level in the plan. We're going to look at something we call secure income, and we're going to look at the tax situation. And I'm going to walk you through all of these. And the purpose of this demonstration is to show you um, how little tweaks um, can really have a great impact on your retirement plan. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look, we're going to compute a confidence level. So this is what's known as a Monte Carlo analysis. And what this does is it takes all the information I put in this system, the social security, the annuity income, the fact they want to retire now, how much they want to spend and uh, everything, inflation, um, the rate of growth of social security and the expenses, everything. And it runs a thousand different scenarios based upon the, the inherent risk of the investment choices, which is, I'll get to that in a second. So um, a 50 stock, 50 bond portfolio, 50% stock, 50% bond portfolio has a, some risk characteristics, 100% stock has other risk characteristics. So what it's doing is it's running all these scenarios and it's trying to give us a confidence level. So 92%, pretty cool. Now, I need to remind you, they want to retire when they're 58 and the system automatically goes out to 92% and for uh, the male and 94 for the female. And now that, that, that's a long time and they both may not make it to that point of time. However, um, what I have found is that uh, just because one spouse dies, it doesn't mean necessarily that the other spouse is gonna spend considerably less money. Uh, so we, we, need, we need to factor that in. So we're gonna go all the way out to 92 and 94. So that's a lot of time in retirement. We have to be cognizant of that. That's a lot of time in retirement. You know, I have clients that want to retire at 67. That's a little bit different. 58 is, is um, it's getting it done if they can do it. So we're seeing 92%. So that's that's pretty good. So what this is saying is there's there are um, going to be 90, um, 920 scenarios out of the 1,000 where, um, where we have success, meaning the money lasts to the end. And there's only a small portion of negative scenarios. And that's this red down here at the bottom. Okay, so that's the first thing I look at confidence. The reason I look at that confidence interval is because I want to make sure that uh, that we're on the same page. You know that that the client isn't like, um, you know, doesn't want to spend fifteen thousand dollars a month yet they have three hundred thousand dollars to their name. It's, I mean, I want to make sure we're on the same page. So uh, after I overcome that hurdle, then I go to something I call secure income. So we'll let this come in. 
And what secure income does is it, it will tell me, I'm gonna move myself out of the way here. It will tell me what the, come on now. All right, great. Hold on, I'm gonna, okay, here we go. All right, sorry about that. Um, okay, so what this is gonna do is this is gonna tell me how easy it will be. So we say secure income. So let me walk you through this chart because this is actually the most this is actually the most important chart. I can tell so much by looking at something like this. So this is the year 2022, and we know that they want to retire and they want to um, and they need money to live. So now what the analysis is doing is it's taking the taxes also because some of their money is in qualified accounts, so IRAs, 401ks. Some of it is in after tax accounts, so what you would get a 1099 for. But uh, this is so what this red is, is we call this the shortfall. Now, uh, I've already indicated, I don't think they're gonna run out of money. It's not a question of that. So what this red really means, it's a secure income shortfall. And it means that we're gonna have to use portions of the retirement assets to pay bills until certain things kick in like social security and pension. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just that we, we need to be cognizant of it. So the annuity isn't starting until 2024. So that's what this yellow is. So the annuity income is right here and up here. Now you notice there's no cost of living on the annuity income. So it's going to stay level with pumping it up as a social security, which I'll get to here in a second. So all this means is that for Mr. And Mrs. Client, they want to retire is they've got a while until they get to social security and their social security benefits are good. I have each at 25 grand a piece starting now. It's going to inflate over time but so all this means is there's there's a little bit of heavy lifting i'm not saying it can't be done uh, there's just a little bit of heavy lifting once we get in here like this is the spending line right here look look it's touching it that's awesome that means that in this year net of taxes they're going to get from social security and pension or annuity um, everything they need to live on that that's like a great situation so this is wonderful this is wonderful because we don't see a lot of red, which means it's it's automatic. Automatic is good. So it means that the money's gonna come in and uh, um, uh, and they're just gonna go to their bank account. I used to say they would go to the mailbox, but that's not a thing anymore. It's gonna go right into their bank account. Over here, what's gonna happen here is when Jimmy dies, uh, let me get this out of the way here. When Jimmy dies, you can see the red increased. That's because one of the social security benefits went away. Normally, it's the higher social security benefit that stays and the lesser one goes away. But in this case, because I had both of their benefits the same, one of those benefits is gonna go away. So that's why there's a lot more heavy lifting. I mean, this is not anything crazy, but it just means that like, you know, when, when Jane Klein is, is in her 90s, there's a little more work to do. Now, the secret, I'll give you the little secret here, is that this is a straight line growth. It really doesn't work that way because when when Jane is in her 90s, she's not going to be spending a lot. She's not going anywhere. So uh, there could be health care costs. That's different. Um, but this this is a, it's, it's a little misleading in, in, uh, in any retirement analysis that has this straight line growth because we know that people slow down. So this is a secure income. So if we look here, we're saying here that 22 percent of their spending need in retirement, including taxes, is they have to sort of work for that money. And by that, I mean, they have to turn their retirement savings uh, into um, cash for spending. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so let's go over here to total income. Now, this looks at the taxes. This looks at something a little bit different. So what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at this orange line and I'm looking at how high are we over this orange line now you see that the that that the orange bar the green bar is just going a little bit over the line this is not a tax situation to think about it's not it's it's fine i i don't know that i would do any tax planning here uh, um in, in future videos i'll show you where we would, would do some tax planning but in this case i believe that the um that this looks pretty good um i don't want to see the green bars right so if you look up here see this line right here like sometimes I have the green bars are going up to here. I mean, it's really high. Uh, I don't, I'm not seeing that here. Um, so that looks pretty good. So I want to, um, so in, 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 I guess in, in general, I would say, um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, 
But we're gonna we're gonna go back here um, to the what if worksheet, and I want to show you how we we can sort of monkey around with things um, to make things better if we want. So if I were to say, um, and now remember the the twenty two percent was the number for the the. 22% of the income in retirement we had to work for. Uh, the rest was pension and, I'm sorry, annuity and social security. So I'm going to come down here in this what if scenario and I'm just going to have them working an extra year. Now, I'm not even, I don't even have, have them making any money in that year. I'm not, I'm not going to go to that part because um, that kind of gets hairy. Let's just assume that they have other money that's not in this analysis and we're going to, um, and we're going to, we're just going to wait a year before we're touching the analysis. Now, I want to go back here. Now you see, we went up to 99%. That year, it's a big year. Um, but I wanna to go to the secure income analysis and I wanna show you um, how, how this changes. Because it's, it's, really, it's really a big deal, uh, maybe, you know, doing that extra year. Okay, I had to pause the recording because my phone rang and I didn't know what to do. So I am back to finish this. So what I was suggesting earlier was that we have now a 20% income shortfall which is, uh, it's 2% less, but it's, it's substantial. It's one less year right here. So just having them retire one year later improve their situation. Um, but we, we, we want to go back to this, um, uh, the three things that I look at. Uh, this is probably the biggest one, the probability of success. And I think they're, um, I think they're in good shape on this one. Okay, we're back here at the whiteboard. Before they take the leap and tell their boss to shove it, I want them to concentrate on four things. Keep these in mind. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they consider 59 years of age instead of 58. It buys us one year, and it's actually a big year. Number two, to make sure their money's invested properly. You know, um, and that's this number right here. Uh, it, a lot of people, when they retire, they go too conservative. That's a problem. And we want to make sure that we have the right investment mix because we, we do need a little bit of a rate of return to make the plan work. Number three, I want them to have enough liquidity for a year or two of, of um, bad markets. I, I don't want them to start drawing down this money right away. Remember, the annuity doesn't kick in until 2024. So I want to make sure that we have some liquidity. And number four, I'd like them to take a good look at that 66K and just to make sure it's a good number, uh, that they're not grossly off in that number. So there you have it. Um, not bad. Not bad for Jimmy and Jane client. And thank you for watching. Mm-hmm.